long does the coronavirus stay with an asymptomatic person? And should you be disinfecting your mail? Dr. Malika Marshall joins me now to answer some of your questions. And doctor, let's get to the very first one, which is from Steve, who wants to know, how long does the virus stay with a person who has no symptoms and therefore has no reason to be tested? It seems like people are infecting each other and this, will, this problem, rather, will never really go away. Yes, yeah, Steve, so we don't exactly know how long people will continue to shed the virus after they become infected, possibly for weeks, but they may not still be contagious at that point. So that's being studied. But it's also really important why we need widespread testing and contact tracing so that we can identify people who are infected, isolate them, and then track down their contacts so that we can test them and isolate them as well. That's really the only way that we're going to get schools and businesses open on a large scale. And Dale is asking on Facebook, does paper mail, newspapers, and tax work from our accountant need to be disinfected? So, Dale, as you can imagine, it's really hard to disinfect plain paper. And the good news is you're unlikely to become infected from newspaper or paper mail or tax documents that come into your house. Although, to be on the safe side, I would wash your hands really well after touching any of those documents. All right, here's one from Lorraine, doctor, who writes, when we are on our balcony and the person below us comes out to his or her balcony to smoke, can the virus vapors rise? So it's really great to be out in open air because there's good ventilation. But if you have someone who's smoking right behind you, right underneath you, as you can imagine, every time they exhale, they're blowing respiratory droplets out into the air. So if you can smell their smoke, I would probably stay indoors until they're done. Okay, and another viewer is asking, can I get this virus if somebody was in the elevator before me without a mask and they sneezed in the elevator? So theoretically, yes. If you happen to walk into an elevator where someone has just sneezed or coughed, you could become infected, which is why it's so important to wear masks when we're out in public. You also, anytime you touch a public surface, like an elevator button, you want to make sure you wash your hands. And depending on the size of the elevator, it's really important for only one, maybe a max of two people to be in an elevator at one time. That's right. Social distancing applies everywhere. That's right. Doctor, thank you. Always nice to see you. Now, if you have a question for Dr. Malika, there are three ways you can reach her. You can send her an email, drmalika at cbs.com. You can write to her on Twitter, at Malika Marshall, or Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall.